on the sixth day, God created man in his own image. Now it's up to us to figure it all out. Right. Wrong. Good. Evil. In each of us is the capacity to decide what drives our actions. So what is it that makes some choose selflessness, the need to devote oneself to something greater, while others know only self-interest, isolating themselves in a world of their own making? Some seek love even if unrequited, while others are driven by fear and betrayal. There are those who see their choices as dark proof of God's absence, while others follow a path of noble destiny. But in the end, good, evil, right or wrong, what we choose is never what we really need, for that is the ultimate cosmic joke. The real gift that God has left behind. There is good, and there is evil, right and wrong, heroes and villains. And if we're blessed with wisdom, then there are glimpses between the cracks of each where light streams through. We wait in silence for these times, when sense can be made. When meaningless existence comes into focus, and our purpose presents itself. And if we have the strength to be honest, then what we find there, staring back at us, is our own reflection bearing witness to the duality of life. That each one of us is capable of both the dark and the light, of good and evil, of either, of all. And destiny, while marching ever in our direction, can be rerouted by the choices we make, by the love we hold on to, and the promises we keep. You're talking to a tattoo again. You again? What are you doing here? I came to give you a message. It's kind of a long trip for a message, don't you think? I'm not really here. It's an illusion, like life. It's best not to make this any more difficult than it has to be. There are things you'll come to know along the way in this journey. No, 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 no. I've taken way too many journeys already. I know it's difficult to understand, but I went through the same thing when it happened to me. But what happened to you? The calling to be a prophet. You've been chosen. No, I didn't ask to be chosen for anything. All I want to do is live a normal life. But you're not normal. You've known that for a while. The world needs you to tell them the future. The future? How the hell am I going to do that? I can't even draw. You will learn. Creatures from another world. But they're just statues. Only when you see them. What does that mean? Lonely assassin things. No one quite knows where they came from, but they're as old as the universe. Or very nearly. And they have survived this long because they have the most perfect defense system ever evolved. They are quantum locked. They don't exist when they're being observed. The moment they are seen by any other living creature, they freeze into rock. No choice, it's a fact of their biology. In the sight of any living thing, they literally turn to stone. And you can't kill a stone. Of course, a stone can't kill you either, but then you turn your head away. And you blink. And oh yes, it can. Don't take your eyes Yes, they're coming. The angels are coming for you, but this... Your life could depend on this. Don't blink. Don't even blink. Blink and you're dead. They are fast, faster than you can believe. Don't turn your back. Don't look away and don't blink. Alone. People assume that time is a strict progression of cause to effect, but actually, from a non-linear, non-subjective viewpoint, it's more like a big ball of wibbly wobbly, timey wimey stuff. Thank you.